Hi, and welcome to Penn Central 99's channel. I'm Terry, and this is the River Mountain Model Railroad. On today's episode of Workshop Wednesday, we're going to assemble some transmission towers. So let's go ahead and get started. This kit is from Walther's, and there's enough parts to build four transmission towers. You're going to need a plastic glue or an adhesive, a modeling knife, such as an X-Acto knife, and some sort of paint. Another interesting note, the base or the footprint is two and a half inches by two and a half inches. The kit comes with instructions, which are pretty basic and simple to follow. And although there's a set of four, I'm only gonna show you one sprue. All the parts come on a sprue, and the parts include two sides with armatures, two sides with no armatures, there's two sizes of inner supports to hold the towers together. There's hangers for the wires. There's a base for the feet. And there's a top that you could paint red to simulate the light assembly. As you can see, I've already taken the parts off the sprues. Some of the things that you can consider when you're de-sprueing your parts is once you use an X-Acto knife to cut as close as possible, you want to try and shave some of the flash off of there as much as possible. And you can probably also take a, a fingernail file, cut down the size to make it a little bit more manageable so that you could also file the plastic or the flash down a little bit to make it look as smooth as possible. If you look at the instructions, they want you to glue two sides together at a 90 degree angle using the inner supports. But after practicing with a couple of these, I actually found that it was easier and simpler to glue the two halves together in a pancake style. So if I take these inner supports, and you want to start here because this part is going to be parallel to one another. This part down here, or the lower part of the base, is going to be at an angle to give you your support. So like I said, if I glue these together and then take the top and pancake that down, then I can come in with the other sides and put that together. For my glue, I'm going to be using Tester's Plastic Cement. I've been using this for years on models and I find uh, once you figure out how to use it, it actually works out pretty well. Uh, basically what I do is I'm going to use the brush to apply it to the area where I'm going to glue the parts together and then I wait about 15 or 20 seconds. After that, I'll apply a little bit more glue, which what that does is that softens up the plastic and then when you press the uh, other plastic parts together, that actually creates a bond between all of the plastic that you're trying to glue together. Like I said earlier, I apply the glue in the area that I want to bond the parts. I put glue on both pieces and I leave it sit for about 15 or 20 seconds, which allows the glue to soften the plastic because you're gonna create a bond between the two materials and once it's dry, they call it cement for a reason. And I'm just gonna press this into place at a 90 degree angle and hold it for about 20 seconds. Same way with the top piece here. Okay, the top piece is pretty much the same. And you can see the little notches or grooves here where these inner supports go. So like I say, it's just a matter of applying the adhesive to so that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work upside down. Since that side's already glued, I'm gonna bring this in here. 
and I'm going to apply glue to where this is going to bond together and I'm going to glue it on or these sides also because I want to soften this plastic say wait about 15 seconds you don't need much say so you just want enough glue to moisten it start to soften that plastic See, I'm just gonna flip this over and the reason I'm flipping it over is so I could actually see where I'm applying the parts put those two together and press and hold for about 15 to 20 seconds to make sure that you're bonding the materials make sure you keep them straight Now to help hold that, I've got some flat washers here that I'm just going to place on top to give it some weight. It's been a couple of hours uh, since we glued these pieces together. So as you can see, they're together pretty good. So for the next step, what I'm going to do is take the bigger inner support and we're going to glue it in this area here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these uh, miniature gator clips to uh, hold it together. Like I said before, it does not take much glue to start to soften the plastic. I'm going to hold this for a couple of seconds to get the glue to start to set and then uh, I'll use the gator clips to hold it together. So the glue is starting to set. You want to be careful with these kind of gator clips because they can bite into the plastic and uh, leave a permanent mark. Okay, I've flipped it over to the other side. I'm placing glue at the points of contact. I say you just want to wait oh, about 15 or 20 seconds for that glue to start to melt the plastic. Drop a glue, drop a glue. Press it together. Use my gator clips. Now that the two halves are together in pancake style, we can just take the sides that don't have the armatures on them and they'll pretty much just fall into place. So let's get these uh, gator clips off. And then all you need to do is apply glue to the points of contact just as the same as the other areas.
But if you listen carefully, you can kind of hear them snap into place. And you can see that that forms a nice tight fit. We'll do the same thing on this side. Snaps right into place. A little bit of flash right there that I missed. Now once that dries, we will press the top together here so that it makes a square. Now to continue on with the bottom support. points of contact, the underside also, This part here, just like before, I'm going to use the gator clips to hold this together. Done. Okay, so we have our, uh, our clips in place, and it'll just be a matter of a few hours before uh, that should uh, cement it together. This next step is pretty easy. I'm going to take the four tips of each side and glue them together to make a point. And to hold it, I'm just going to use a rubber band. While you're waiting on some parts to dry, you can actually work on some other areas. So as the, the tip and the bottom support are drying, we could get the feet on. And um, these are pretty much just gonna hold in place uh, with gravity. So we're gonna apply some glue and wet the area.
Work with the back. We are on the downhill slide. Uh, we've got a couple more things to do. Should just take a few hours. And actually, uh, that's just to let the glue set. So let's go ahead and uh, get that rubber band off of the tip there. Get that out of the way. Uh, let's get rid of our uh, clamps. Our gator clips. As you can see, it's holding all together. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top and glue that on there. And slide that right down on there. Center it and press it. Okay, for the last step, um, <clears throat> they want you to gently bend the arms together and glue the insulators in between. Uh, I found that extremely difficult on the other ones that I put together, and I actually found it easier. To I take found it uh, difficult to do that because basically what you're trying to do is maintain three points of contact while the glue sets. I found it uh, a little bit easier to glue one side. And then once that side sets, then you can bring in the other side and glue that together. I found that a little bit easier to do, so and that's the way I'm going to do it. One other thing that you want to do before you start gluing these insulators on the armatures is to pre-bend these. Uh, that way they'll hold in place a little bit better. And they are actually uh, slightly pre-cut about halfway through so that they will fold back into place. Uh, but before you put them together, you know, just try and work it a little bit. Don't work it to the point where you snap it off, but you want to make that uh, flexible. When you glue these together, uh, you want to make sure that the uh, point or the tip is pointed towards the outside. That way they will come together. Once the plastic starts to soften, these will hold together. Okay, we're about done. It's just a matter of attaching the other side of the armature to the existing assembly. Should only take a couple of minutes to do that. There's a And here's the completed tower. As you can see, they're not too difficult to put together. It's just a matter of uh, letting the glue dry in between the steps. But they actually turn out pretty good.
So this is going to conclude the uh, construction or the, uh, the build process of these transmission towers. Now it's just going to be a matter of uh, putting some paint on there. Well, that does it for this episode of Workshop Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If you have some ideas or suggestions for Workshop Wednesday, go ahead and put them down in the comment section and I'll see if I can get around to them. As always, thanks for watching.